think whoever whoever it was on the other end was lying. She was tired of people lying for her. So that, those ten kings, there's ten kings, there's a beast, and there's a whore. Great Babylon, Mystery Babylon. That woman, she sits upon, she sits upon the beast, right? It's not an actual woman. But it's the spirit of, you know, it's the spirit of the woman, uh, like the, the, how Click explains it, the, the woman energy is taking over, but it's the harlot type of spirit that's, well, it, yeah, it's not that it's taking over. It already has taken over. It's just that part's coming to an end. But that's why Kleck has to deceive those ten kings and make them believe that it just started. Now, according to the Bible, those ten kings, they actually, they literally commit fornication with the woman. Because that great city Babylon is, is, is fallen. It's the, it's the cage of every foul spirit and dirty bird. Those ten kings. Well, at one point there's... At one point there's... This one king is greater than three. So the first three kings that fall... But then again, there's seven, there's, there's ten kings and, and five have fallen. One is, <clears throat> one is yet to come. But then, you know, that beast, right? See, I'm a little confused about this one part. The beast that was alive and is... Uh, not alive, supposedly, but yet is alive. So there's the beast that was, is, not, but yet he is alive. Click already told you, Kobe Bryant, before he was, well, first of all, Kobe Bryant was alive. Then Click told you he died. He kind of said, like, he, yeah, in a way, he, like, deserved it, is the way he was trying to portray it. Then he said he is alive. He said he, he said, yet he is. Because he's not buying it. He's, you know, Kobe had to go, he's alive, I'm not buying it. Because he, he had to go to wherever he had to go because of what's getting ready to happen here in America. So who's the beast? Is it Kobe or is it Click? I mean, I'm not... I, look, this is just being played out in the script. Revelation. Whether the... Whether that was added to the Bible or not. Who really knows? But either way... You know that they've taken stuff out of the Bible. And you know that they've added stuff to it. But they could have just spiritually have taken away the truth by adding lies to the interpretation of the words, like like water turning into semen and piss and you know and that kind of stuff, according to Click. But the ten kings, they give their power over to the beast. But see the isn't doesn't isn't the woman riding the beast? Literally, Jonathan Cleck is playing Eve, and Kobe Bryant is playing the serpent, the snake, the the Nephilim, the the giant, the fallen, the two hundred fallen angels. That's the script. 
He's the black mamba, the most deadliest snake in the world. And the whore is riding the beast. When you look at the the largest altar in the world as a dead sheep, but it's a penis and a vagina, but ab above on top, the whore is riding the penis of the beast. The scarlet colored beast. But the whore is, well, it's Eve. Eve is the whore. She's the one that committed fornication with the snake, the serpent. Because the serpent beguiled Eve. But I'm not seeing Kobe Bryant playing the Eve role. I'm seeing Jonathan Kleck playing the Eve role because he's playing Lucifer, but he's acting like he's Christ. It's, it's so twisted around that how they have this worked out, but... You know, somebody has to figure it out. And if nobody wants to figure it out, I will. And I'll tell you what it is. And then for the Kleckites. Oh, man. You guys. Look. All I can tell you is. Your boss, Jonathan Kleck. I mean, he is playing the shit out of you guys. I know you don't like hearing it. You know, and I know you think because <clears throat> you're promised by a man and again I wasn't promised by anybody but I know this for a fact the spirit that I have inside of me is taking over because that same spirit is inside of a lot of other people and there's no way that that spirit is going to just get swept under the rug how can you not see this how can you not the ones that watch my videos, that when I put all that, gather all that evidence together and show you that, well, I know how you can't because you don't have eyes to see, obviously. But when you surveil, like I can understand the people that just watch my channel and you, you're not, you don't work for anybody that's surveilling. You're not part of the CIA, the NSA, FBI. You're, you're just... You're just a regular damn person like myself who is, is, for whatever reason, you got on YouTube and, you, you know, you see, like, you get, you watch the news and then you see this nonsense of, like, hurricanes and stop signs spinning in the inside of the concrete, which is literally impossible. And then you start questioning everything. Well, what the hell is going on? Why, why are they purposely lying and then... Like showing us these loopholes through their stories, it's like pissing you off. So, like, you're like me. You got on YouTube, whether you do videos or not, or you're just commenting or you're just watching videos. You're seeing the same thing that I'm seeing, and but you, but you're not comprehending it the way that I the way that I am. You're not. Maybe you're not seeing it still when I'm presenting the evidence to you. But in all likelihood, you guys, the, the regular subs, you do see it because I'm showing it to you. Man, it's such a nice... I, I, I've never went there, but I feel like going there just because it's arrayed in purple scarlet. So I can understand why you might not see what I'm showing you. But there's other subs that are just the same, regular people that can see it. And again, it's free will. You you think what you want. I just present the evidence. I don't force anybody to believe a damn thing. I prefer that you guys would, but you know, so be it. You'll see it. it you will in the end, and that's the part. That's the reason why I don't get offended. I don't get mad. I don't get upset with anybody that doesn't believe me, because I have confidence knowing for a fact. That God, the one that created every single individual human being on planet Earth, is going to show and reveal this in the end. And that energy that takes over, that flood, is taking over. That's us taking over. So you'll see it in the end. And that's why I don't get mad because you have, like, you have people that do get mad that try to prove things to you. And when you question them... It kind of pisses them off because they want they want you to believe them so bad. 
like a liar. I, you know, I remember these liars on YouTube that the ones that do make videos and they, they've tried to convince me that, you know, they, that they aren't, you know, like a stalker or a, or they don't work for Steven, James, Deshaun, or Click. And, you know, you guys are just flat out liars. <clears throat> but to the Kleckites, when you see what I'm presenting about your own boss and you still want to deny that it's true, you just have eyes that you can't see because I will guarantee you this. You don't like your third eye. You don't even like talking about it. Like Derek from a clop tree. I don't, don't even touch it. Don't even get, get away from it. You're not even doing anything to it. It's just, it's either open spiritually or it's not. I, I, it has nothing to do with fluoride in your toothpaste or your water. It, it's, it's a spiritual awakening. You can't stop God. You can't clog God's pineal gland. I don't care how much fluoride you have in the water. It's not happening. You can't cover the sky with chemtrails and all the technology so God can't see down. You can't do it. But there's, you know, people think that way. But I think Jonathan Kleck's third eye is wide open. I think Stephen James Deshaun... I think his third eye is wide open because I, because there, there's there are certain individuals that are part of the the seven churches these messengers some five of them need to repent two there's only two that are you know like, like pretty much doing the will of God but there's the other five I mean, they're all doing the will of God, but because even the ones that are lying and deceiving, it's still God's purpose for you guys to do that. Because in the end, you will repent. And in the end, everybody everybody gets tricked. And the main thing that needs to happen is Jonathan Click, who is showing you that Kobe Bryant is his project. His first project, Adam, 76. The helicopter that crashed was an S-76B. All right? And it crashed with nine people in it over Highway 101, which is 911. Seven S-76B, and by the way, the helicopter went down, crashed at 176 miles per hour. And Kobe Bryant was passed by LeBron James uh, for third all-time while he was playing the 76ers. As Kobe Bryant's helicopter crashed, S-76B, which is the Snake 76 Beast, he is... It's a toss-up because... I know how Cleck is trying to portray to the Ten Kings that that the whore is America, but the whore is really him because he's he's acting as Eve. But at the same time, the whore is the spirit of the woman Jezebel taking over the you know the the host body system where you have the you have the good you and the bad you, and he Jonathan Cleck the whore Eve is getting the beast. Uh, Kobe Bryant to have sex with Eve because that spiritual sexual intercourse is the beginning of the the serpent race intermingling with Eve that's the whole point that's why Cleck was so damn excited on January 24th 2020 two days before Kobe Bryant's airplane uh, freaking the thing up in the sky fell down the image fell down. Uh, it's, well, it wasn't even an image that fell down. It was floating in the sky, and then it disappeared, and then, you know, they had everything set up where the snake trail of the helicopter fell on the snake trail, which is letting you know that the Black Mamba 
fell and was burned. So because he's portraying both sides, and because he's showing Hollywood that he's a uh, he's he's acting as John the Baptist for Kobe Bryant because Kobe Bryant is the first Adam that's going to rise from the dead. Even though Hollywood knows that Kobe Bryant isn't dead, but he's still acting as the John the Baptist for, well, I mean, I don't know how many people in Hollywood truly know Kobe Bryant isn't dead, but the people they interview, it's so obvious that they know that he's not dead. The basketball players, the, the, you know, the main top Hollywood kings of the earth, they know. And when I say Hollywood kings of the earth, it's not just, it's not just movie stars. It's Hollywood. Hollywood is Donald Trump. Hollywood is, is uh, you know, Michael Jackson. Uh, it's anybody and everybody that's in a limelight. Hollywood. Those people, they are supposed to believe that Kleck is the Lord God. And Kobe Bryant is Christ. He's the chosen Messiah, but they know that he's alive. But there's most, most don't because even the damn Kleckites don't even know that that Kobe's alive. They just, they just, I mean, look, your boss, I, I told you from the gate, the very first video, Kobe Bryant's day, I immediately got on there and I believe my title of my video was the, the Ten kings given her power over to the beast. I it, right away it just was like, got it. I now I, but how can you predict? How can you know what Revelation is talking about, with the way that they're writing out the script in the end? Unless this event happens where Kobe Bryant, you know, immediately just like please. But remember, he is purple. He is purple because he is a Laker. The Lakers are purple and yellow, but mainly purple. Click uh, like Click loves showing that purple penis. I, I'm telling you, just he loves showing it, and then he also loves telling you that about how Eve fell and had sex with the serpent race. But he's acting as if he is submitting to the serpent race, but he's enjoying that. Uh, you know that that spiritual intercourse because he loves that penis that purple penis he loves it on that on his uh, you know with his images that he's getting people to worship and also the altar in the Vatican which is a dead which is a big dead snake is a penis and a vagina riding the penis and then you know the sperm and the semen and the angels because the angels are the ones that have fallen. I can see it clearly now. Very, very clearly. And hey, whoever's with me, I am going to remember you. And whoever's not, boy, am I going to remember you too. All the Kleckites, I'm going to remember you guys. You better make sure you develop a new skill. Unlike the this is the worst video I have ever seen in my entire life. I am unsubbed. Like those type of those type of clickites. Pathetic. You're gonna need to develop a skill when this money goes down because you guys. Oh man, I remember Scotty Alpine. You're making me super rich. I wonder if Steve is deceived by Click as well. I mean. There's going to be so many twists and turns in the end, and then, and then I take over. I'm just saying. I can only just tell you the truth. My spirit's taking over. Because I'm the one interpreting the Bible correctly with the events that are being played out in the world. It's that time. You'll see it. The Kleckites will see it. 
But man, you guys are promised a, a, an inheritance, right? Big time inheritance. Big time. Rich. Making you rich. Well, go over to the Garden of Eden where you're going to see Kobe Bryant. I love this. I love the fact that I can tell you what you're going to do before you do it. And when you go there and you see it, at, at, I, oh, the only thing that's going to be in your head is, fuck, Robin said that this... Oh my God, what's... We're, what? We're going to party for three and a half days? Oh, no, he said we're going to do that too. <clears throat> and then there's going to be like... And then after three and a half days, nothing's going to happen. You guys are going to be like... Oh, man, I thought... Oh, man, Robin had me a little nervous. And then it's like three and a half days after that. Because there's always a prolonged period to get you guys really, really riled up and excited. Uh, remember this, though. John DeCleck said that he's going to ring the bell all the way back to the Garden of Eden. All the way back there. What does it mean to ring a bell? Well, it's not just a bell that's going to be a one-time event. He's going to ring that bell, which begins that second 9-11, and then he's going to continue to ring it. It's just a prolonging ring. It's like when you hear the sound of the flute, the horn, the cord, the sackcloth, and, you know, get down and worship the image of the beast. He's getting you to worship the image of Kobe Bryant. If you don't worship the image of Kobe Bryant, well, guess what the Kleckites are going to do? You guys are going to tell Kleck, Boss, boy, hey, boy, yeah, hey, boss, you know, Robin, he, he, he's still going to worship his God three times a day, uh, boss you want to you want to sign that declaration and then because he's playing the Darius role as well as Steve is because Steve and Click and Trump are kind of like playing the same thing even though Trump's the rumor is he's he's Cyrus but at the same time Darius has been rumored to be Cyrus and so they, they play it out in both dispositions so you can believe what you want but because I'm not worshiping the image of the beast because I'm smart enough to know that uh, Kobe Bryant is alive and so so will be Michael Jordan when he you know the head of the snake those three kings LeBron James uh, when see I believe King James is probably gonna I don't know I'll leave that up for debate but those three kings and there's gonna be a fourth one and Kleck's gonna play the fourth one that's far richer than they all because he's the one that has the patent image of the money printed on the back of it he's the one that's in control of the of the cash the banks everything when the Kleckites go over to the Garden of Eden you guys get played well remember I told you the money collapse you see Kobe Bryant doesn't know the Bible you gotta people gotta remember this those ten kings that were promised to rule they don't know the Bible spiritually. They have no freaking clue what the Bible even means. They were just told that, like, yeah, yeah, this is what you do. Give your power unto me. But remember, you guys are going to hate me, the whore, and then you're going to burn me with fire. So expect... And then here's the thing. Whether it's Click or Kobe, who's playing the harlot, you know, dressed in purple... Kobe Bryant already burned. All right, he's first, and and then apparently you're gonna still hear the story about Click, uh, you know, bur burning. I guess. I mean, or his helicopter, or not his helicopter, but his parachute malfunctions, like like I said, you know, like three or four months ago. But Kobe Bryant is. That one, there's only two candidates for the for the um, the woman spirit taking over because if you want to spiritually have sex with with uh, with the whore and the beast and the whore, well, what what does that mean? I mean, you're I mean, look, if you want to literally do it, then you have the woman spirit inside of you. That's all. It's you're just you just have the uh, you have the both. And that's, <clears throat> that's why the man, <clears throat> that's why Click is taking over, because he has both inside of him. It's, it's plain as day, 
obvious as all hell. If you want to deny it, stay in denial. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Who cares? So it's on you. But when that money collapses and Kobe Bryant and LeBron James and Michael Jordan, see, the only reason they're going to sign their name over, think about this. There's two reasons, two main reasons. One, well, think about this. Why would they do it? Why would you sign away your life and die when you, you already got as much money as you possibly need in the world? Why would you want more money? Because when you sign over, like Kobe Bryant probably made more money within this past week than his entire career because of all of the products that are being sold with his name being dead. It's just the way it is. So whoever has his right to his name gets all that cash. Now, when you don't know that this is all fake, that... See, they know that they're not dying, but they don't know that the earth, that America, is going to be a fake fire. Kleck knows that, but that's why Kleck is playing all the Ten Kings, because they don't know that he has the power of the air. They don't know that the sky is fake. They don't know about the sun. They don't know about the moon and the stars. They have no clue. But that's why they do know that America is going to be burned. And Kleck has in all likelihood told him that he's going to be the one that sets off these nuclear bombs and destroys us. That's why they got to get out of America. So the best thing they can do is sign away their name, give their power to the beast. That's why I'm looking at Kleck as possibly being the beast, but I'm still confused a little bit between Kobe and Kleck being the beast. But both having the spiritual harlot uh, spirit inside of them that they're trying to take over. But see, I think Kleck's taking it for the team because he don't mind doing what he's doing. And at the same time, he's going to deceive them because Kleck doesn't even like idols. Because he's saying he's the Lord God. He's saying the Lord God doesn't like idols. So it makes him sick that people are worshipping the, 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 the stars as idols. That's how I see it. And so the reason why Michael Jordan, the head of the snake, is going to sign his name over in his life and play dead is because he believes that America is going to burn with fire and he's getting the frick up out of here. And the second reason that Kobe Bryant signed away his name because he's the same reason he, he believes that because America will be burned with fire. Uh, by the word of God, fire that proceeds out of my mouth. and But at the same time, it's going to be burned by fake fire with the fallen stars and everything. And they're going to see that over at the Garden of Eden when they get the help out of here. I just want to show you this guy. Look. Does the same thing every time I drive by just about. Go ahead. The lights will get in my face. It's the same house, but it's just a pure coincidence. So the second reason is because they want to be worshipped as a risen Christ. There's your two reasons. Main reason is fear, because they're scared to death that you know they're taking their family. I think Kobe Bryant might have even left his wife because he's looking to uh, really. Uh, really embrace the, uh, this, the, the harlot, the harlot spirit that's taking over that those ten kings have. <clears throat> so it's fear that's running them, getting them out of America. And I see Kobe Bryant and his daughter heading over, everybody that was in a helicopter is heading over to Garden of Eden as they get out of America. I don't know if Kobe Bryant's wife is going to see him rise from the dead, if they're playing the trick on her, or if Kobe just wants to get the help away from her and, and live his new life. Because it's obvious. It's so obvious what Kleck is doing 
and how he has these, these major kings of the earth signing away their name and having him play it out. There's not many people that know this. I happen to know it. But I just want to let you know that I'm from the outside looking in. That's why my spirit takes over. Because I can see it. Who can see us in the dark? Who sees what we're doing? Well, I can. I see it clearly. So, Klekites, you know, enjoy your party that you're going to have over at the Garden of Eden. Enjoy worshiping, idolizing uh, flesh. Because Klek told you, your own boss told you, thou shall not worship idols. He's telling you they shouldn't lie either, but he's lying through his teeth. But at the same time, he's giving you all the truth, but it's concealed. But it's not concealed because I can understand everything Kleck's talking about. So the truth isn't concealed to me. So he is telling the truth when it comes to... Do you see how deep this goes? If you just contemplate and think and stop allowing other people to think for you and control you, you'll be able to think for yourself and you'll be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together. So when Kobe Bryant and the rest stand there in shame, when they hear about the money collapsing and the economy is done and there's no more money and they, oh man, the, I can't wait for that to happen because they get the, it's free will, everybody. This is why I say, go ahead, do what the hell you want to do because in the end, there's that that person from the inside. And Click is a great candidate for doing that. Because you cannot possibly see him being on my side. But he will be. Because he already is. But he's not. Because you can't see it. But I can. So that's... That's the uh, that's everything wrapped up in a nutshell. Just wait, be patient. You'll see it, Kleckites. I know you think that I'm gonna die. I know you think because you don't give a shit about people in America. Because you guys are promised to go to the Garden of Eden. Remember, that bell rings all the way back to the Garden of Eden, and it starts with Adam, and it finishes with Trump, the locust that rises from the pit. Donald Trump and his wounded head because he's going to get that Z, that virus, that, uh, what's the, 